Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and I'm doing a video with you all today. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm looking something up real quick. I want to explain this. Cool. I found this in a little bottle, which is good because I don't know if I'm going to like it. And if you look in the bottle, you're going to see a little plum. We're going to get to that. Alright? This, my friends is Choya Yumishu Japanese plum wine with a plum. Um, Yumishu is a liqueur made with plums. Hmm. It has been consumed over a thousand years in Japan. Uh, Yumishu is made by soaking unripe ume plums in sugar and sh uh, shochu Japanese clear distilled spirit which has an alcohol content of about 35%. Ume plums contain potassium and calcium, so umishu is said to be a healthy drink. Hmm, country, Japan, region, kinky, type, plum wine, ABV 14.6%, non-vintage sweet dessert. It's said to have a nutty, um, sweet, um, sour type, when I looked up some other stuff on it, um, because somehow, um, what did I put here? Uh, fermenting this, which is fermented for up to a year, um, with the whole plum, the skin, the pit, and the flesh, um, for at least a year, brings out flavor even from the pit which is the seed which can give a nutty type uh, type flavor um, okay enough I can't find anything else all right now I thought I had don't tell me I don't uh, yeah, I yeah a little glass we're gonna put it in so here it is let's uh, let's get it open a little green jar hmm. there it is Smells like Peter Herring, which is a cherry liqueur. That's what it smells if you ever had that. It's got a... Kind of cherry syrupy type smell to it. I'm gonna tell you why. It's sweet and very sour at the same time, which is a nice balance. And it does have the nutty nuttiness from the extraction from the pit of this fruit. Kinda like it. Kinda like it. I think we'll be good over ice. Let's get the pit out or the fruit. Here it is. Look at that. Looks like a little olive. Mm. And it's so infused with the alcohol, it just tastes just like the alcohol. Now I have just a seed, just a pit, just a. Okay, it's different. It's good. Kind of like it. Kind of like that's in a little jar and I didn't have to buy a whole big one. Because though it's different, I like it. It's not part of my culture. I don't know how to drink this all the time. There's so many things to drink. Um, but it's better than I thought it would be. And I really do think it would be good with uh, chilled real down. Chilled down real well. Or eat over ice, crushed ice, it'd be real good. at all. Alright, so I finally had this. I'd seen the big jars full of uh, or with a big uh, plum in it. Choya. Yumishu. 
No artificial uh, additives to this. And that's all I can say about it. It's different, but it's not bad at all. All right, everybody. If you've never had it, it's something that'd be cool to do before supper or just by itself as shots or after supper. It's kind of a little shot of dessert or before dessert. Just for people who've never had a plum wine, um, I think it'd be interesting. From uh, Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed, thank you very much for being here, and I will see you all in the next one.